what's up everybody welcome to another episode of dating while fat my name is nashira aka nas aka nani if it's too hard for y'all to pronounce um and this is another episode of dating while fat i know this has been long overdue i recorded my intro almost a month ago and i promised i would do these videos every week but this month has been really 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 hectic for me so i do apologize for that uh but just getting right into it um today's topic um i'm gonna kind of contradict myself a little bit <laughs> but hear me out um First of all, make sure that you guys subscribe to the channel and like this video, comment, all that great stuff. I'm always looking at the comments and I'm always replying to the comments. Um, so, but anyhow, let's get right into it. So today's topic is um, how, I'm sorry, let me turn on the music. I know, I usually, I always have uh, music playing in the background from uh, independent artists. I'm very much about uh, supporting local talent and the music that you're hearing today is from 3D Nati. She's a MC from New Orleans. She's really, really dope, but um, it's kind of loud, so I'm going to turn it down. So, like I was saying, <laughs> um, so today's topic is how I personally feel that women we have been brainwashed by society to believe that our sole purpose on this earth is to find a man i see it time and time again you know women getting into relationships that they're unhappy in that they don't even really like the guy just because they're afraid to be single now mind you like I said, it's kind of contradicting because my whole video is kind of, my whole vlog is kind of based around dating. So, you know, obviously I am looking for a man, but at the same time, it's not my sole focus. I'm also doing a lot of other things in my life. Um, you know, and what I've learned from my past relationships is that the foundation of a relationship is probably the most important thing. So you don't want to rush into anything if you're not 100% sure that that person is really what you want. And I see this happen way too often. Um, you know, somebody in my family, I'm not going to mention any names, um, has never been single. They are like a serial monogamist. They go from one relationship into another into another i don't think she's ever been single in her entire life and none of her relationships work out and i feel like that reason is because you never really have time to find yourself until you really know yourself and what you want and what you're looking for and your likes and dislikes you're never it's gonna be much harder for you to find a partner that's on your level so take your time you know take time out for you when you're single um you know do things that you wouldn't normally be able to do when you're in a relationship you know a lot of times you know we have interests that our partners don't really share so a lot of times we prevent ourselves from exploring those interests because you know you don't have anybody to kind of like you know go along with you um so you know explore those interests if you're you know interested in i don't know kayaking <laughs> go kayaking if you're interested in you know for me personally my interests are like open mics um i love like discovering new artists and you know um poetry and music and all that so you know in the time that i've been single i've gone to a lot of open mic events i've gone to a lot of rap battles i've you know gone to like comedy shows with my friends i've gotten a lot closer with my you know girlfriends um so you know take advantage of the time that you're single as well being single is not a bad thing and most importantly if you're looking for a good man you have to be a good woman <laughs> you know so many times we want x y and z from a man and we don't even have those qualities in ourselves so how do you expect to find a man at this level if you're still at this level <laughs> you know so 
take the time to really know who you are take the time to find yourself being single is not always a bad thing um well it's never a bad thing i don't know why i said always it's never a bad thing um yeah you, your your purpose in life has so much more to do with what you're able to provide everybody other people like i feel like our or my purpose i'll speak for myself my purpose in life is to serve others in one way or another um so whatever that means for you you know that's what you should really be exploring um it's it's really sad like it really it really i guess what's the word i'm looking for it really just uh, irritates me <laughs> a little bit it really just makes it saddens me it just really I don't know like it's just, it's just sad it's just sad that society has really brainwashed us into thinking that our sole purpose is to find a man like if you look at these commercials uh, they're all like gravitated towards making yourself look better for a man um, they if you notice a lot of commercials that are geared towards women don't really make us feel good about ourselves they kind of like put us down we we have a lot um of negativity like towards women like they say it's a man's world <laughs> for a reason and women are so so much more powerful than what we realize so um that's pretty much the topic i had um there was actually another topic i wanted to um speak on and it was more about uh self-confidence and how a lot of times um sorry that music was too much um but a lot of times we lack a lot of times we lack self-confidence because sometimes it can be misinterpreted as arrogance i saw somebody post the other day and it was it was a you know it was just a joke but you know it triggered me a little bit because he was like oh like you know some girls like walk around like thinking that their shit don't stink um but i bet they won't post a picture of their stomach and it rubbed me the wrong way because it was implying that a woman's value is in her stomach like first of all <laughs> a woman's stomach is where we grow another human being you know we are you know the the ones that bring life um you know to us of course you know it does take to a man has his place i'm not discrediting men in any way um but you know it's just it's just sad we as women deal with a lot um <laughs> and you know confidence a lot of time is seen in a negative light sometimes when you're self-confident some people will look at you and think oh she thinks she's better than everybody else oh you know she thinks her shit don't stink oh you know they they're arrogant they're cocky they're this and they're that and to me there's a fine line between confidence and arrogance and that line lies in how you treat other people if you're not actively trying to bring somebody down then to me that's confidence when you're when you bring other people down in order to make yourself feel better then that's that's insecurity turned inside out that's arrogance and that's not what we want um but it's not a bad thing it's not a bad thing to be confident your stomach your legs your cellulite your whatever you're insecure about is not what defines you it's you know and 
that that post really just rubbed me the wrong way i was like typing like paragraphs like how did it? <laughs> and um like but then i understood like it was just a joke and like i let it go but um i'm pretty much trying to say or what i'm trying to say is that when you see somebody and they're they appear to be confident in themselves don't automatically assume that that person is arrogant because most of the times they might just be really shy and they don't talk to a lot of people um you know they might be introverted and I, i've seen that happen a lot where women especially will look at an, uh, another woman and and be like oh she thinks she's all that and without her saying anything like she'll just step in a room you know be confident in herself and automatically people are just like trying to tear her down because you know of their own insecurities and confidence is not a bad thing and for men um not all men but some men will try to you know tear that woman down to bring her to the level that they're on to make themselves feel better about you know being rejected or for whatever for whatever reason you know it's just sad don't do it don't don't be that person um <laughs> anyhow that's really all i had to say for today i don't want to make these videos way too long because i know me personally if i see a video on youtube that's more than 30 minutes i'm not even gonna waste my time so i'm gonna keep these videos try to keep them all around 15 minutes or so if you guys have any questions or topics for me that you'd like for me to talk about please put it down in the comments you can find me on instagram at dating while fat um and yeah that's it thank you so much for watching i really appreciate everybody that has been supporting me with this vlog and i do apologize that it took me so long to you know make this but thank you again for watching peace